At this point I've switched from using my pot and peg call to using my diaphragm call from Woodhaven. <laughs> this tom had been fired up all morning long and he was still gobbling up there on that ridge, but for some reason he just did not want to start coming in towards me. Eventually this hen came along and worked her way in towards my set. I had a Jake and a hen decoy, like I mentioned earlier, set up right in front of my blind, and she wasn't shy about coming over in front of her. But that Tom just stayed up on that ridge, strutting back and forth, back and forth for what seemed like forever. Finally, 
when this hen kind of made her way past me right here, and she was maybe two yards in front of my blind right here, she kind of made her way and was getting to the point where that, that tom that was strutting back and forth up on that hill couldn't see her very well. And with this grass getting as tall as it is, um, he started making his way in when he started losing sight of her. And he never gobbled this time he was walking in. He just kept strutting, going in and out and strut and making his way into these decoys. I think he may have also been reluctant since there was a Jake decoy here. He may not be a very dominant type of Tom and uh, maybe had his butt kicked a couple of times already this year and maybe just kind of steering clear of other males uh, when there are females around. But he made his way in finally. Um, at this point he was maybe 17 yards away from me slowly still working his way straight towards my decoys which were maybe 10 yards directly in front of me and so I was just letting him come in I wasn't doing any calling because he was doing exactly what I wanted to, to do which was get closer to me and sure enough he just kept working his way right in and I apologize for the poor filming I'm not a film photographer or a professional edit maker I'm just an average YouTubesman So, um, I shot my Tom, right now it's only 7 o'clock, I probably shot this Tom maybe at like 6.45, pretty early. Um, so I tracked him kind of up to the edge of this field um, where I was shooting from, uh, kind of like right into this corner, this is the corner of the field, um, and I saw him give like a flop when I was maybe like 50 yards away, and I thought that was it, you know, I thought he was trapped, so I slowly walked up here. Um, and then when I came up to this corner here, he was gone, and uh, you know I was kind of bummed out. But uh, so I kind of started looking, and it's pretty thick right here behind me, and pretty open this way. So I figured if I was trying to hide from something that was trying to kill me, I'd go this way. So sure enough, I walked in maybe 10 yards into this, and he hopped up and hobbled off just a little bit. I think he's down now. Um, he's maybe just like 25 yards right behind me in this brush, um, and I think he's down. So I'm just going to pick up my bow. I have another arrow knocked just in case, um, but I'm going to get back here. It's really thick is the only thing. Um, so I'm going to kind of get back here, see if I can't recover this tom, and uh, just lay hands on this thing.